everyone welcome back to my channel i am solely sims and this is episode one of the off the grid challenge and we're playing with the carsons this is ted carson you guys if you saw when i did the introduction of the um lp you would have seen um, their creations. I didn't go in detail in regards to what their um, aspirations were um, and their traits were, so I will do that briefly um, right now. Ted Carson, who is the dad, he's a single dad. He has a teen boy, Lyle, and a child, uh, Melanie. Um, he wants just a successful lineage. He, um, his his traits are that of uh, we don't need that public image he's non-committal he loves the outdoors he's active and he's very domestic now um i'm going to have him as a woodworker um because i think we can't do some of the i will be reading some of the requirements guys and basically it it doesn't say uh, it doesn't say a lot of what we we can use right or rather it does say a lot of what we can use i don't know what i'm saying guys but um a lot of it is that we can't you get a toilet or a bath or anything like that unless it is something that we have crafted ourselves on the woodworking table so i'm going to start off with this this is basically their space they're starting off with um well two thousand dollars is started off with but because he has two children that is an additional i believe it was um additional three hundred dollars per child so he started off basically with two thousand six hundred dollars so what the rules are stating is that as long if there's a toddler there's an additional five thousand if it's a child it's an additional three if it's a pet it's an additional one but regardless of the number of sims that you start off with adult sims that you start off with you start off with two thousand simoleons okay um so it's just the dependence in the household that would determine any, anything really so this is the lot that we have chosen for them. Like I said, I um, I want him to start doing something. Um, maybe he can start on the woodworking table because he needs to start building up that skill. Pronto to start building beds, etc. We, I'm going to start with the horse sculpture. And I'm glad that I left at least $100 there for him. I will be playing each household for a week because this is a rotational LP. So each household, I will be playing them for just one week. Um, so we're going to spend a week with the Carsons and then we'll move on to the next. Um, we are now going to look at Lyle, who wants to be a angling ace, which would be very helpful in selling, um, in getting funds for the house as well. His traits are... Let us see. Um, he's unflirty. He's a collector and he's a bit lazy. That just means he's not going to help around the house that much, sadly. Um, the children do get to go to, to school. I have, I'm just going to have him do his homework quickly. Um, he's eventually, maybe on the weekend or when he has free time, he will be able to go uh, fishing, etc. I do want to go through the rest of the rules with it with with um, you guys sorry about the stumble and this young lady Melanie her aspiration is that of a wee kid and she wants to well she's just a bookworm for now so um I only have auto aging up on the sims that I'm actually playing I don't have um any I think I took off i unchecked move in households so basically uh people are going to not be able to just move in automatically i am going to get both of them to start on their homework i do want the dad to not only and i'm going to start going into gameplay right now i'm not only going to have the dad um uh do the woodwork but i also want him to do a little bit of gardening gardening as well um so he's just basically speaking with lyle it's the first day of spring i have it set for 14 days actually 
for both of them and let me just run through quickly the rules like i said i have set both of the children to do their homework because they still need to go to school so it says that the phones need to be silenced for every household because we will not be using it for whatever reason and if we do get a text we have to ignore it um the kids will uh, autonomously um grab their cell phones we just we can just ignore that because we can't do anything about that um so our primary concern will be figuring out how to provide for your sims needs without he's just standing there he's not doing anything and i just have you guys staring at his back i do apologize for that so whilst he's working on this i guess everybody is working doing something um he's going to be working on that and the kids are doing their homework and i just hope the tent can actually take in all of them i have my fingers crossed um, so they will need to garden or fish for their food and find alternative ways to bring money to the household that does not involve a traditional career um, and even though we're living off the land we will have bills to pay but it's not you're not going to be penalized if you don't pay the bills because you know whatever you're living off the grid anyway but like I said I will be going through each week it was you could do it however you want I was thinking initially do it each one new um, family each episode but then i figured you know what maybe i would do at least um a week in each household just to get you know the hang of that right um the children must go to school and they must have good grades because um you don't want to have your kids taken away etc and it seems may pursue any interest hobbies they want and they can do anything with their lives basically they can build get married build relationships rather they can get married have children build skills do fun activities etc as long as it is off the grid and they're complying with the um, rules of the challenge same sex couples cannot adopt children because adopting because you need to use the um, thing for that but however if for example you can have like a breeding um, couple I guess you can say I'm going to know um I'm going to cancel this because I don't want I don't know why it's running a little bit slow I don't want them to to interact with anybody I have set some stuff in place for them that I want them to do so we can sell directly from our inventory which is great um come on we can craft another sculpture so we i'm going to do another horse sculpture and i'm going to check on the kids as well um yeah so same sex couples like i said they cannot adopt children however you can like have a family have a child and then have that child be adopted by a same sex couple um so yes basically that is it melanie is done with her homework um that's good her responsibility is is going up we can't have i think we can't have um let her just have her a conversation with her brother i think so i'm going to just pause quickly because they tend to do whatever it is they want to do and i just want to make sure that they don't do anything that is going to contradict with um what it is that i want them to do maybe i can have him maybe he no I'll have Melanie be a singer. I remember I was doing um, in my old challenge. Let us have them play together. That would be nice. Flick nose. I don't know what kind of interaction that would be, but we will see. Anyway, I want them to have a close relationship. I want them to have a good relationship. Um, because it, it is a bit of a close-knit family that I'm looking for so let's just have them talk about different why isn't it doing what i asked it to do oh uh, yeah okay i want them to have a good relationship tell a funny story you know and just communicate with each other you know have fun together so maybe whilst they're doing this they will talk uh, etc and then i can continue with with this um, 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 um well it basically talks next about hygiene etc it's saying what i said before that you cannot have any of certain things unless um 
unless it's something that you did yourself you know so so there's that in terms of building stuff for yourself um you can talk to any sim you meet but you can't really and we've already gotten 40 dollars so that's basically what 20 dollars in profit which is really good I, I don't think that's bad at all i'm going to have him um do some more crafting i think that would be good where are you going you only you i wanted to kind of take off um the autonomy for them i don't want i didn't want them to just do things on on their own because he will end up doing things that would probably maybe maybe piece me off <laughs> but i also wanted um i also wanted them to you know try to to not limit them too much so as for traveling we can visit any of the lots we cannot basically cannot leave brindleton, brindleton bay because what they're saying is that um the other places would be too far for us to travel and being nomadic what but what i don't like about this is they're saying that we cannot use vehicles whatever whatever all fine and well but I'm not seeing anything wrong in maybe having one or two because if you even if you um nomadic and even if you're off the grid wouldn't you still occasionally you do find some persons having a vehicle to go be able to go up and down and do whatever anyway you can't basically kind of do it except to go to granite falls to um to uh, collect stuff for herbalism etc which would be nice because I've never explored that aspect of the game either um, is th that's her being creative or just being naughty because she's making a mess and I'm wondering if he can't discipline her because that's just a no can he not no he can't it's up to the dad to discipline her i guess what is he doing in there is it relaxing okay well i think she should be punished for behaving this way maybe she's just a little bit irritable maybe she is um tired after that long journey because it was quite a long journey you know um parenting yes be strict with her because oh wow he's going to yell at her for making a mess okay but i do want him to be strict but wow that's kind of and she's cleaning it up like now i don't even know if i want to be mad because she's cleaning up after herself um which is very good <laughs> okay so we can like i said i was saying we can sell everything straight from our inventory um which is good and let me just go back i want him to continue doing this and then maybe she can there's nothing basically that she can do go play yeah go play in the tent yeah so that's what he, what um what's happening it says sims may not use the public restrooms in the common space in their home but considering that i have taken off all of the anything that would make it um make it um seem a little bit more modern i think it's quite f fine to me anyway to to have them to have them uh use the washroom because i did i got some houses i don't know uh if you guys followed the last episode which you guys totally should go watch that's the introduction i will be linking it below i sent him to um to do some fishing so yeah so um he not him what am i saying I created um I asked for some off the grid lots and I got a good 
number of feedback from a lot of people not a great many responses but i got this really cool um house fisherman's hut by techno baba and i got um michelle ray who is ducky 66 on um tumblr and ea etc she gave me two um lots that i could work with and i did a farm from the farming challenge a while back actually with um mccrafty 1976 and um i used that i converted it into a park so it has and now we can craft furniture guys how awesome is that so yeah so we have these things you know at least um to start off with and i did have a restaurant a crab shack before i put it in the location closest to the docks and i changed it so that it is a bit more um off the grid compatible you know so there are um oh i'm going to maybe i should do the, the yeah i'll do this the bar so so they, they there are things that they can do together you know um for socializing etc so i'm not just going to take it out you know completely etc so to become an off the grid master that is when the game actually ends the challenge ends when your tribe of sims have established themselves as a thriving off the grid community in order to qualify for this achievement each of your household has to build a proper home from the mega the beginnings decided with complying with the rest of the challenge each sim must excel in an area that aids them in the off the grid lifestyle in order for a home to qualify as a proper off the grid home it must have at least four exterior walls a roof every room in the house must be fully furnished with um, wall and floor coverings and every room in the house must have a minimum of one window um a minimum of two doors and enough bedrooms to accommodate the entire household with no more than two sims sharing a single bedroom to be counted yeah to be counted as a bedroom each bedroom must have one bed one nightstand one light one dresser one cluttered decor item and one decorative wall hanging um, a minimum of one bathroom or an outhouse with one toilet built on the workbench one bathtub built on the workbench and one mirror that's basically saying to me and again i think it's a little bit repetitive for each household to be doing the same thing so i'm thinking if i get one person which is mr ted carson here to be able to um make toilets etc blah 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 he can carry that over to um or when he sells his wares his neighbors can buy it i think it should be like that type of community right everybody gives off to everybody else that's what i'm thinking um and that's what i'm most likely going to do in that regard so he or oh, he needs to go to the toilet so um let us because we only have the bush i'm sorry lyle we only have a bush to pee in which is strategically placed away from everything else yeah okay so um like i said i'm thinking about maybe doing it for um for hmm. i'm thinking let me just pause quickly i hate when i'm doing stuff and then it just does something else for one let me see. oh it's 90 dollars wow look how money is coming in so quickly already And they have a pooch. I wonder if dad can probably cook it. We'll see. Maybe I can have dad cook that. Um, because it's saying that we cannot cook anything that, that we don't have ingredients for, basically. And we can't have cereal, etc. Which which sucks. You know? But we will see how... Um, how that works out so i want to see what dad has for me to sell and i know i'm just jumping in and out of the different things or oh, i guess i guess the bastel went into the family inventory which is totally fine as well um dad needs to use the washroom as well and he's a little bit hungry so i will have him go ahead and um light the fire so he can start cooking Oh, you can't reach it why 
Why can't you reach the fire? There's no nothing blocked. Oh, I didn't even know I could do that. I was about to say there's nothing blocking him, so... So I don't even know. Okay, I'm gonna put it over here and see if that helps. I hope it does. Because you need to, to light it up so we'll be able to cook something. Okay. So yes, so it's saying for each team to qualify as a bean master of the grid, lifestyle, each team and all the team that must have one of the following skills max out gardening handiness cooking gourmet cooking baking herbalism painting violin piano pipe organ maxed out what well, um i don't know why i'm going to pause it again why does she keep making a mess look everybody wants to use the toilet at the same time <laughs> everyone um at the same time so, okay, I'm going to just have him come out and probably talk to Melanie for a while so that everybody can take their turns using the, um, using this. Why won't it, I, why won't it, guys, I don't know why, okay. Share a secret. I think that would be nice. And then they'll take it from there. I guess they'll continue talking from there. Um, I don't know why he won't cook, but I was reading anyway, so I didn't even see I was reading what I was supposed to do. Um, each child must have mastered the following skills, social, motor, creativity, or mental. And each toddler must have maxed out movement, imagination, thinking, communication, in addition to the potty. Um, in addition to the potty sim. I don't know why Lai looks like he has, you know, a fancy little moustache um, and stuff. You know, looks so weird. So, let me see, let me see. I do want... Um, let me have him just grab something quickly from the cooler. Maybe have something quickly for him to eat. And then we will take it from there but guys let me try and figure out why I can't light the stove and then not the stove sorry the the campfire because we need to cook and um, I will continue in the next episode guys I hope you enjoyed this episode I'm um, just like I said just following up with the rest of what the rules are and it is a bit a little bit um, lengthy Oh, text emergency okay but i just want you guys to have an idea of um just what it is you know that the challenge entails etc so guys i'll see you again in my next episode thank you so much for watching thank you so much for joining me goodbye